man. We got Brad Vlogs here. Yo, yo, what's good, guys? Bro, so you're uh, dropping your truck off at Poppy's Garage, bro? Yeah, truck, truck is getting dropped off. We picked color. We got 12 inch lift that we're, we're gonna be focused on. 30 inch rims, 42 inch tires, so full build. Like that right there, 30s and 42s. Yeah, bro. Not, yeah, literally, same rim and tire setup, obviously right. different rims. Obviously, dually. Too. But uh, dually, it's a dually, dually, and then it's not gonna be as high, though. It's too high. That's like yeah, kinda, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kinda it's doing 20, too much for me. I still wanna tow them. But yeah, yeah, I'm excited. Do you know if you're doing 1650s in the rear or 1550s? Oh, dude. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Do you see the daily setup? Yeah, daily, daily, setup? daily setup. Yeah, yeah. Are you gonna be towing a little bit? A little bit, just side by way. size, different things like that. Right, 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 right man. Yeah. So you got a little 30s and 42s, a little paint match, maybe? Yep. Paint um, for, we're gonna do a paint match. Full paint match, fire. Everything, everything. It's gonna be sick, bro. Fire, dude. All right, man. And it's going to SEMA, dude. Yep. SEMA and we're gonna going. be in SEMA, yeah. We're gonna, we're SEMA with a, uh, a dirt bike build as well, and then probably take my wife's Bronco as well. Damn. This is actually the 23 right here. Bro, low stock 23, high output, kind of fresh, man. Gonna be crazy. Baby lift, right? Baby lift. Baby lift. Baby lift. Oh, baby lift. Little, little lift. Hey, that's it. Baby lift. I thought I was welcome to the big league when I came in here. Nah, <laughs> bro. Big bro. league. Whoa, the thing is, we got those units. Nah, 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 that's league. too much. That's too much. That's that's bro, too much. This is his daily, bro. It's Yo, you think daily. I can catch a rooster? Oh, where is it? Yo, catch him. You can't catch a rooster. Ain't no shot you're catching a rooster. Huh? Ain't no shot you're catching a rooster. What do you think? What do you think? Fire. Fire. That's the sensor. You see this little billet arm? So when you turn, this turns. In the front, I got one. What I'm doing in the steering wheel, it measures what I'm doing. And these rear ones are measuring where these are at. So you see these bars to that piston? There's a piston back there. Yeah. You see it. Whatever. Whatever I do over there, it'll move that piston and it'll try to match this to that. And that's what it's doing on the fly. It, does, it checks 10 times every second with a 10 millisecond delay. That's crazy. This guy's out of cap. Yeah, you wanted a million and you show it. What you want is it really that important? You've been on my mind and I really can't ignore it. Little baby, you a 10. When I'm in it, I got you going, oh. All right, man, bro. You see the whole build video on the next part? Yeah, Bang. appreciate right, it. Man. Let's go. <laughs> So basically, behind me, you guys see all of our crates. Basically, when you order a lift from us, we have our crates that get filled in and then, you know, you get it shipped over through freight or whatever. But basically, as we make the kits, we throw them into their crate. So over here, we actually have kind of like a crate that's going to powder coat. So you guys know, even from early on in my channel, we only use one powder coater, DC powder coating. And basically, this crate is going directly to him. So it's actually got two lifts in it. Two Ford kits, but basically, you guys see it here. Brap has a long bed, so we have the long traction bars for him. He's doing a 14 inch kit, and we're actually doing something really cool for his truck in particular. So, we're actually going to be throwing on for the first time ever a front truss on a 14 inch kit, which is going to come with a high steer conversion. So, basically, should technically opt for the best ride quality because usually you do a high steer around 14 plus being at 14 and being at 10 and now offering a high steer kind of like upgrade is going to be awesome for your ride quality it's actually should be better than stock technically at 10 inches but at 14 it should really match perfectly so we have everything here coilover conversions and stuff for the for braps truck as far as the color scheme on this truck braps actually going to do like a light gray it's got a specific color, I'll pop it up here. And basically it's gonna be light gray with black and milled overlays. You guys have seen that be done on the channel before, never with the light gray. So it's gonna be kind of sick, black, light gray, 30s and 42s. We got a whole lot of work ahead of us, but for right now we just need to take that crate to powder coat, drop it off, get it sandblasted, get it coated, and then you guys will see us put it back together. You all know? <laughs> yeah. You know, man. Made it to the warehouse. <laughs> Bro, what do you think? Way different truck? I mean, it's getting there, bro. I mean, it definitely don't look like I paid a hundred grand for it. <laughs> like I bought it from the junkyard right now. Dude, out of control, huh? Yeah. Axle's fully taken apart. Everything's out of them. Just gotta take out the bushings and prep them. It's a surprise that you guys are doing it. Yeah, you showing me. Yeah, we got a little surprise. <laughs> That's a surprise. What is it? Talk to me. All right, man. So we're actually gonna surprise Angel. Let's go. I'm excited. I'm excited. Got a little surprise for him. He doesn't know. So, only on the big, big kits. You see this thing here? Yeah, it looks like a monstrosity of Take, something. It takes this on the big ones, right? Yeah. Why do we do this? Because on the big kits, you need high steer, right? The geometry between this bar and this bar should be parallel, right? Um, 
on anything that's small, we just basically do a pitman drop, and then you get on the track bar a, a track bar drop. Yeah. You're the tallest that the small kit goes, right? Ah, so at 12 inch. At 12 inch. So not that the steering is sketchy. The steering is still fine. Yeah. But the best way to make steering would be like stock. Yeah. So of course you want it to ride as good as possible. Okay. So if we do high steer on your 12 inch, okay. Technically, the amount that we're bringing up with this from this point to here is exactly 10 and a half inches. Okay. So technically, you're an inch and a half away from stock. So it's literally like if you had the truck leveled. Fire. You know so it'll saying? drive like normal. It'll drive like normal. There's not going to be any of that bump steer correction or whatnot. The geometry is going to be money, and you get this sexy thing in the front. So it'll look yeah, really busy. You know what I'm saying? You're so fucking smart, man. Right? No, <laughs> I, I read, I read, and I write it down, and then I repeat it. I'm like, oh, I wish guys. I was as smart as this guy. I'm not gonna lie. These guys Bro, are coming later. Let me I don't know what's going on. This man. 12 inches, 10, five, the angle, look at the 36. Medium. So, is that going to do anything with the height, or is that just, just, just strictly yeah. steering? Just steering, just steering is going to be softer, and it's going to look a lot better. All right, come on, bro. Like, you, this like, it's the ultimate flex. Fuck a Huracan, fuck every other supercar. When you got a truck that costs just as much as your supercar, that's a flex. Bro, this truck used to be on a 15, and then we took it all apart, put it on the 20, and so took it to this, you can you can drop the truck with all that on, or no? Drop lower the it. truck meaning what? Lower it. It's technically a 20, so I'll be technically five inches lower than this one. Yeah, it'll be a lot lower than this. Yeah. So it'll be like that truck that you saw. Can you make that shit drop lower? The no, step? Like, but this ain't gonna be towing nothing. No, no, like yeah, this yeah. is we're gonna be like this every oh, day. Holy shit. Yo, Rob, <laughs> help me up, Rob. Oh, One, dude. two, three, go. Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be me and Rob every day. Now we don't got a 20, so I don't gotta worry about 20. It's only five inches different. You make it sound like, like six, six. We can get a blank. So, so you can put four speed on. Both the same size. Yes. No, we're three thousand. I'm having the swatches and shit. Uh, I'm gonna just send it because he's got a sandblast, all that. Yeah, and all this shit. Um, he's finishing. This is yours. This is where we were adding the front truss. It's missing the cap. That's what I was showing you. Nice. The front. Because all the lift's been there for a fat minute already. So, yeah, right. But then in my head, I was like, I'm gonna give it to this guy, uh, and, and he's like, really let Angel's truck just leave without the fucking thing. And I don't <laughs> know. You know what I'm saying? It makes sense. You know what I mean? No makes problem. sense, bro. <laughs> Damn. Like another year and a half. Uh, dude. Maybe two. Two, see what's 2025? 2025? We'll get it down. We just hit 2024, bro. What are you gonna do with all your stock that? You want it? Fuck why I do it. But the problem is that the platinum or limited headlights are expensive. Oh, what's how much what's, what's expensive? Body paid like three grand for the set. Yeah, it's expensive. Exactly. The headlights, yeah. But then he found a couple on eBay for like 1500 bucks, 1200 bucks. That's not bad. Let's keep an eye. Yeah. If I see one, I'll send you a link. Perfect, yeah. Buddy who does all the paint to match and the crazy light stuff, he says he got you, no problem. Okay. Just obviously. Well, you just gotta get the lights. Send some lights. lights are trash. All right, guys. So finally, last part of this. We just loaded up everything to go to powder coat. Come check out the creek. So we have the axles here. We have a set of bumpers for another truck. Then we have the whole crate that's got all the suspension from Brab's truck and uh, and the whole entire lift in there. So we're gonna send that out to Powder Coat. It's gonna be two weeks, and then when it comes back, you guys will see you on the next video. Appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting. Make sure to subscribe to keep following with the build. Peter Chuck.